there are thousands of Jews today. No, I'm not talking about the, I'm not about the Christians, the I'm talking about the Jews. In the, the real Judaism, and the religion of Judaism. That, that Yeshua is the Messiah. They believe his first name is Adonai. Whose name, whose Adonai, first name is Adonai? Yeshua, Mashiach. Yeah. Whose first name is Adonai? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 700 times in the Bible he's called Adonai. Why is he name topic? You're talking about but the prayer. Adonai. You're saying he Why prayed to the Father. Why won't you deal with this? See, Why is he praying Hashim, to the Father if he's fully God? You will not deal with this question. Yeah, Moses was called Adonai. 700 times yeah. he's called the Lord, not a Lord. He's called the Lord Jesus Christ. Who's it's called, in his name. Did Jesus call There's himself no the Lord? There's no name under heaven by which okay. you must Did Jesus saved. call himself the Lord? No answer. Ah, um, uh, what yeah, happened? I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> so other people call him the Lord. You know there are other and people. Did he correct David, them and David, say, I am not David, the Lord. hold on, hold on. Other people call Fear on God. Yes. No, I think there is wait, no wait, brother, brother, one minute. Other people call Fear on God. Other people call maybe some some emperor God. Does that so make what? them God? Wait, Why wait, I let you talk. David, I call. Let you talk. Now let me talk. When Jesus talk himself, long. when Jesus let himself let acknowledges. Jesus himself acknowledges the Father as the only true God. This title, only true God, is it applicable, applicable to anyone other than the Father? When the Messiah no, no, answer the question. When the is the, the, is the term, the Messiah, he David, David, the David, listen to the question. Is the title, the only true God, applicable to anyone other than the Father? In the entire Bible, the only true God. Yes. Show me where in the Bible. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning, He is, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Where's the title? The Word is God. Where's the title? And the the only. I'm fresh. looking for the title. The only true God. So stop twisting the words like the Pharisees did. Show me this title. The only true God from the entire Bible, which is applicable to anyone other than God the Father. Does that negate the fact that He is God because well, he, it didn't come out of His? How many only true God? How many only true gods are there? How many? Only one, right? Only one. It, no, 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 no. He has, actually Jesus did say these words in John 17:3. The ones I'm pointing you to, the one where you didn't want to say the Father, is actually the words of Jesus. John 17:3. He yes. says, "Eternal life, eternal life is knowing God now, not just in heaven. Carry on, carry on. Knowing God now. Carry on. Eternal life by how? By knowing Jesus Christ." <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, it does say that. Now, this it is eternal been, life that no, they may know. The only true God and no, no, no. Jesus Christ. Don't fast forward. Don't fa fast forward. When it says here, before we go to that, let's see where the prayer actually starts. John 17, 1. After Jesus, are you, are you paying attention? I can, I can hear. I can multitask. Okay. Like Jesus, multi Jesus prays to be, to be, uh, sorry, G this is the prayer of Jesus. After Jesus said this, he looked towards heaven and pray yeah. Cam camera yes? this side babe but he did every time yes. he was in can you bring Israel, the camera yeah. here if you don't mind yeah the light, the light has well, okay okay so what i'm saying is that after jesus said this he looked toward the heaven and he prayed father the hour has come glorify your son that your son may glorify you whom is he praying to father in heaven thank you very much we continue verse number two for you granted him authority who's the you here for you granted him authority. No, it's, it's, it's pretty obvious. For, no, no, no. It's, I know it's clear, but I just want to clarify it further. I've for you granted time. him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to those, to all those who have given him. So who gives eternal life? No, before you answer that, Jesus answer my question. Wait. Who gave him that, who granted him that authority? His Father in heaven. Thank you very much. So Jesus did not have the authority, he was granted the authority. While Am I right? Yeah, while he was on the planet for 33 years, he yes. was granted it by the Father. So, but when he is... Now, okay, I've got to let us finish. You. Let us finish Matthew, this and then... Matthew 23, let's move on. Before, no, 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 no. I know you're coming to the main Jesus words said, and you, you want to move on. You don't, you don't like this. You know he doesn't want to like move on? This, one. This, one. this is the kryptonite to the Muslim. Actually, sir, John 23 is the kryptonite to the Trinitarian. But you won't answer. Uh, someone's been history. watching my videos. Jesus said, no, we've debated people. <laughs> no, not this Matthew, kryptonite bit. What I'm saying is this. Look, Matthew John 17, 3. John 17, 3. Why don't want to read that? The next verse. The next verse. Come on, David. We've so far. Dealt with this five no, 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 no. You, you will not. You Until you admit that when Jesus is talking in John 17, 3, yeah. he's pointing to the Father. No, you haven't. When I asked you who is the you here, you said the creator. You never said the Father. Okay. Right, he is the creator and he is the father and he is the, he is almighty God. So according to Jesus, who is the only true God? Oh, all those three that I've just mentioned. Including the father? Yes. Good. So if the father is the only true God, can anybody else be the true God? 
if you believe only in one God. If God can multitask, yes. No, it's not about tasking, it's, it's about recognizing. It's the word who became flesh. I he didn't ask you to task, did I? Became 31. Caught it, God. Paul was in prison. Oh, it wasn't Jesus, it was Paul. Yeah, okay. So I asked yeah. you, where did Jesus call himself God? Not where Paul called him God. Because even Paul, even Paul did not believe in the Trinity, if you remember. There's no, there's no, there's no, no Trinity. Testament. There's no Don't Trinity you interrupt now, I'm already talking to you. No Trinity. It's the Godhead. The Godhead is mentioned three times. And where does this say the Godhead has three persons? Where? Well, throughout the whole Bible. Show you, me one you, place. You have, where? you have God doing things by His Spirit. God as the Son of Man in the Old Testament. Yes. He, he, where he does it say the Godhead is three persons? Well, in Daniel, read the prophet Daniel. Does Daniel? Read the prophet does Daniel, Daniel say? Does Daniel say? Godhead has three persons, and these three persons are the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Does he say that? No, but it's so why do you make up things then, if it's not in the Bible? Why did the church take 400 years for the doctrine to be formulated, if it was clearly mentioned in the Bible? Exactly. You see what I mean? If it was clearly in the Bible, the church wouldn't take 400 years to formulate the doctrine of Trinity. Yeah, well, that's the Catholics, they did the Trinity. Thing. Yeah, you guys didn't. You guys came in the 1600s, <laughs> the Protestants. Okay, so the Protestants, your church no, 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 came no, much I'm later. I'm, I'm the original believers who believed in the Lord Jesus. They all I'm say the original. Them. I'm not a Protestant. David, they all say the original. I'm a believer. No, 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 the Catholics say I'm, I'm a original. Actually, you don't no. believe in Jesus Christ. You know why? I believe in the because Lord Jesus Because Jesus did not Christ. preach the Godhead. He's Lord persons. of my life. That's when I got saved. Jesus. That's when the Spirit of God came into my life. David. That's when Jesus, uh, Jesus himself. dying on the cross, him taking the punishment for my sin, applied okay. to my so life. So show me why Jesus said to believe in three. Show me why Jesus says to worship three persons. Show me why Jesus says to worship the three persons. God. Show me why he says to worship in the God. Worship three persons. So then, so then it's antichrist. You You're going against Jesus' teaching. Yeah. Jesus said the only true God is the Father. But you say no, it's not just the Father. You said it's the Son and the Holy Spirit as well. Am I right? So you are an antichrist going against Jesus Christ. So I am an antichrist. Because you're going against the teaching of Jesus. Okay, now let's read the most important verse. Because earlier we found that Father he was praying to. Secondly, the Father is the one who granted him authority. And the third verse, the one that you don't want me to read is this. Now this is eternal life that they may know you. You here is the Father, yes? That they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus and Christ whom you have sent. Jesus. So knowing Je how I know Jesus Christ. Why would I know and Jesus? Because Jesus. he is the, the Son emphasis of God. The emphasis on the end shows that no, they are separate. No, not just because he's a Messiah. They are not the same. The yes, I agree he's the Messiah. Look, I am a Muslim, not a Jew. So I believe Jesus is the Messiah. Okay? However, however, Jesus himself said, Jesus himself said that the only true God is the Father. Okay? And... And what? And him, Jesus he, And he's what? He has sent. And he's what? He's God. No, 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 no. no. He says, yeah, and Jesus Christ, not Jesus God. You see the liars? Did you see how he lied? Did you see how he lied? This is what the Pharisees, this is the reason Jesus called the Pharisees as snakes and a brood of vipers because they used to change. They used to change the verses. Yes, it says Jesus Christ, not Jesus Lord. Very simple. Okay. Jesus you Christ is not Jesus. Can Lord. I ask you a question? Good. So you agree with Jesus Matthew or not? Matthew 23. We've dealt with that. You reckon you won that one? I, I reckon we'll agree to disagree on No, that. we agree that Jesus okay. is right or wrong. Matthew 23. What, what about did it? Jesus say? Who do you think the Messiah is? Who do you think is the Messiah? And the Jews, what did they say? Well, I'm not a he Jew. I believe he's the Messiah. Well, Matthew 20. You said you've read the Bible. You should have read this. Yeah, it doesn't so mean I've memorized it. No, I know. I'm not saying you have to be. But it actually says this. Okay. What does it, it say? Says, Jesus said to the, to, to the Jewish people, he said uh, to the Pharisees, he said, so who is the Messiah? And they said, what? He's the son of David, the son of Daud. He's descended from Daud. Why but then he does Daud, hang on, let me finish. Why then does Daud, why does David in Psalm 110 call him Lord? The Lord said unto my Lord, sit at my right hand until I sit it to, to, to make your enemies your footstool. So the Lord said unto my Lord, who is at the right hand of the Father. How many lords are there? Do you know what they said God, to him God, then? Two gods. Two they gods? They couldn't answer him. Polytheist. <laughs> Look at these guys. They actually believe in two gods now. You believe in Daoud. You believe in David. David I don't believe in the God. Wait, wait, wait. believe in Daoud. Wait, wait. Believing in Daoud is not saying. Psalm 110. Yeah, but I don't believe in your psalm. I believe in you Daoud, but not your psalm. Psalm 110. No, I don't. Ah. I don't because I'm not. I am not ah. a Christian or a Jew. I believe in the Quran. Which writings of Dawood do you believe in? I believe the, the ones, ones that fit in with the no, Quran. No, I believe in the Quran. That's very convenient. Why Why not? Why do you disregard the ones that, that contradict the Quran? Okay. Because it's, it's not convenient. We need to believe the whole writings 
of Almighty God and okay. of the writings of Daoud. You know what? By the way, I will send this. Read, listen, listen. Believe in the whole are you the are you referring to Psalm 110 one? Yes. Okay, let's see what what this. You know, it says here in the this this is a text I recently received on that particular verse. Let's read that. It says here. The 6,828 occurrences of the term Yahweh never appear as curious, all right, Mao, my Lord, in the LXS, which is the Septuagon, the Greek version of the NT, which is very frequently called by the New Testament. So well, I, I would disagree with that. Wait, wait, let me finish and then you can agree or disagree. And then it goes further to well, say, so that in the scores of verses in which curious, meaning the Lord God Yahweh, is contrasted with a non-deity superior, that non-deity superior is called Adonai, Kurios, Mao, my Lord. The system of distinction is secure and obvious. Okay? It says here, in desperation to maintain the notion that God speaks to God in Psalm 1, Trinitarian apologist James White found a couple of exceptions to this rule. Okay? In uh, this, in OS 15:2 and Psalms so 34, there are Psalms 32. Yeah, of course there are exceptions, but based on the context, you can understand what it means. Yes, and it says, what he did not notice is that the so-called exceptions, exceptions do not make the rule, occur when God, one person, unlike Psalms 110:1, where God speaks to another. Yes, is given a double address as Lord and God. Yes, there's two addresses, Lord and God. That's why the Greek adds a my, mau to Lord Curios to address God, my God. Yes, you will see a at a glance that neither verse is in any way parallel to Psalm 110.1. And the scores of examples like it. One must not compare apples and oranges. Again, the two so-called exceptions in which God is called my God are already explicable because of a single addressee. Is this a, is this a, All right. a And this is actually the... Interpretation. No, this is mentioned by Anthony F. Bezit. In oh, number 36.2, in number 36.2, it says Lord commanded so when my he Lord says, Moses. even Look, look, unless and until you guys are polytheists and believe in two gods, then that's fine. But even if you, as a Jewish person or a Christian person, believe in two gods, my Lord set next to my God, God, then that shows that you guys are polytheists. It can't be one God if you're talking about two different gods and lords. All right. So Jesus advocated one God. All the prophets advocated one God. Only the Christians are the odd ones out who believe in a trinity or the Godhead, whatever you want to call it. Okay. In Numbers 36 2, the Lord commanded my Lord being Moses. That's about Moses. God, it says Once about Lord, it's Moses. Lord commanded my Lord, which is Moses. Yeah, that's good. So that makes which one is also God? Which one is that numbers? Number 36, yeah, yeah. verse 2. Yeah. What do you think no, of no. this verse, David? Number David, Daud, what do you think about Daud saying this? And they said, no, 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 the Lord numbers, commanded. Numbers 36, 2. Numbers 30, 36, 2. Yeah. And they said, the Lord commanded my Lord which is to Moses. give the land for an inheritance by a lot to the children of Israel. Here. Okay, yeah, it's the context. The context is... Ah, Moses. now context comes in. So wow. The context <laughs> that Jesus, that Moses Yeshua was is talking Lord about well. in Matthew 23, yeah. is he's referring to himself. But, obviously, but that's that exactly... The Lord at the right hand. Moses is not at the right hand of the Father. See, you've got to, you've got to fit the into the context. But the right hand but of the, the Father... When he's, he's at the right hand of the Father yeah. ruling. So they how are many, one and yet How three. are they one if he's at the right hand side of the Father? How is it one? You tell because, me. Because they're separate and yet they're one. Okay, so when you die, how many gods will you see? One or two or three? How many people will you see? I will see the Holy Spirit. One. Jesus. Two. The Father and yet they are three. all one. How are they one? You show me. So you're using... Make this one. Go on. What about God's maths? Do you think God's maths? You, we need to give God. The yeah, credit. one plus one plus he's, one is how many? He's no time. David, David, one, one plus one, one plus. Times one. Why are you multiplying them? Why? Why are why you not? multiplying them? Why are you adding? Why? Because you told me there are three persons. That's the only way you can do maths. That's called basic maths. Okay. <laughs> Now, according to Islam, seriously. Now, do, no, okay, don't be offended by this. What? But, but according to Islam, if if you believe that there is just Allah, okay, one, the one Allah yeah. who is eternal, yeah, yeah. Isn't and, he lonely? He's and just there by himself. Who said he's there by himself? So who else is there with, with, uh, with Allah in eternity? Oh, wait a minute. So you're talking about lonely as one entity? He's in eternity. Okay. You know, what do you understand by the term lonely? What do you understand by that? I'm talking about being by yourself. Okay. Is that, does it apply to God or to humans only? 
Uh, well, it can be both. How do you know it can be? Did, uh, did God ever tell you in the Bible that he was lonely? Okay, let's just think from sort of basic logic. Okay? Yeah, yeah. The so Jews you, believe in no. one God. Do you think they believe God was lonely? I'm just asking uh, this, I'm why just asking this now? question. As a Muslim, would you say... So, so you're he's, saying... He's, is he a loving God? Now, the Father loves the Son, loves the Holy Spirit, and yet they are one. Show me why he says the Father loves the Holy Spirit in the Bible anyway. Go on. I challenge you. I challenge any Christian out there. Show me where he well, says... The whole context of it. No, no. Show me even the context that he loves the Holy Spirit. Go on. Show yeah, me. That's it. Go on. Oops, what's the matter, David? I, 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 what's the matter, David? The cat's got your tongue I, now? I haven't, uh, I haven't got a verse that says... Exactly my uh, point. So why do you make up things that you don't know? You're speculating. God God himself, well, you're saying that God does not love? If God loves them, does he need to kill his son? <laughs> Where's the love of God when he kills his own son? Yahya. Not Yahya. I'm talking about, I'm talking about Esau. According to you, he's your God, according to you, he's your God, no, 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 he's your God and your Yahya. son of God. You select the things from Yahya you like and the things you don't, they don't fit. Can God forgive? Let me ask you. Can your God forgive That's someone? Very selective, isn't no, no, I'm not selective. I'm, I'm being very Why clear. Do you believe what Yahya I'm being very clear. Jesus I'm very clear with regards to the, the Bible. Bible. In your Bible, it says, the, sorry, there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. Yes. Do you know which verse that is? Leviticus 17. No, it? that's Hebrews 9.22. And it's Leviticus 7. That's where you get it from. Well, not, 17. it doesn't, it says, Leviticus 17. Okay, if it is in Leviticus, if it is in Leviticus. Without the shedding of blood, there's no Yeah, but was it. that talking about the blood of animals or God? Well, when we have the tabernacle, then we have the temple. What do we have? Can you answer the question? We is have, it talking about the blood of God or of animals? Lambs, we have lambs, with the, you have spotless animals that were sacrificed for the people. Animals, yeah. yes. You, you I agree it's animals. The, I agree it's animals. So if it's animals, so, then where does God fit in? What, how it fits in, because the Messiah will be the Lamb of God, the sacrificial Lamb of God, who will give his perfect blood for the... See, that was just a covering, a temporary covering for sin for the Jewish people. <laughs> temporary covering. But now the permanent covering is the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so we went from animal sacrifice to human yes. sacrifice. Yes. How would you like to do That's it? called pagan cult. Only pagans believe in human sacrifice. But you, you believe that... Um, um, what happened? Abraham, 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 Abraham who was it? His Nobody son? Else. Who was his you, son? You believe in his yeah, sacrifice. Was, was he sacrificed? What, what, what was it? An animal. Was he sacrificed? What, what, what is was he sacrificed? sacrificed? No. <laughs> Thank the, you, the I lost my case. The important point the is, point, no, that was a test of him. No, I'm not. I'm not. that an animal was killed. Alright, David, I'll answer the question. I'll answer the question. It was indeed a human that Abraham was asked to sacrifice. However, however, that was a test of Abraham. It was a picture Can I finish? You asked me a question. You allowed me. Would wait, wait. Be Allow me to answer once you have asked a question. Yes? But it's, 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 no, no, no. It's David, a David, hold on. It's, it's a dialogue. Not a yeah, exactly. No, no. It I, turns into I a agree. bit of a monologue. But when you, you ask a dialogue. question, at least give me the courtesy to respond to that question. Well, I've listened okay? a lot more than you've listened Well, to at least let me finish. Otherwise, don't ask me a question. Carry on. Good. Abraham was tested with regards to his loyalty to God Almighty. Yeah, whether he will carry out the test that God wanted. God wanted him we to agree sacrifice. On that one. Can I finish without interrupting? God did not, not hold on, hold on. In the case, look, look, at, from the, dialogue. no, no, but a dialogue is where you don't interrupt all the time. In order to understand what the other person is saying, you need to listen. God gave you two years for a reason and one mouth. Okay, so use them accordingly. What I'm saying is very clear. In the Islamic narrative of Abraham and his son, yes, God did not instruct Abraham. He did not tell him directly to go and kill your son or sacrifice your son. Abraham saw a dream in which he, in which he was asked to sacrifice his most beloved thing. Is this according to the Hadith or the Quran? According to the Hadith. Okay. Yes, it was. He different was asked. In the Bible. Different in the Bible. Why? It's the same. We believe in the Hadith as strongly as we believe in the Quran. For us, they're both important. Yeah. In fact, the Quran instructs us to believe in the Hadith. So whether you believe in or not, Bible version of this Abraham well, I'm not with the Bible. The Bible is weaker than the weakest Hadith we got. So let's forget about that the now. <laughs> it is indeed. You got to have no even chain of narration even. So Why what I'm saying. Muhammad say, ask the people of the book. Can we stop the, changing if, the topic? If, if the, no, let's stick to one topic. On topic. No, no, keep that in mind. Book, keep that in mind. You can ask Which me later and I'll answer. Which I'll answer. Of the book I will answer. Muhammad say okay, you Allah, ask the people. If you read the Quran, Allah says the Quran is Al Muhaymin. Do you know what that means? I've read the Quran. What does Al Muhaymin mean? I've read it in English. I haven't read it in Okay, Al Muhaymin means he's an overseer to the previous scriptures and it is the one which determines which is the bit which is true and which is the bit which is false so the quran is the criteria we use to differentiate between the previous scriptures well, into 
want to believe. Well, it's the Quran, isn't it? That's very it convenient is convenient for us no. No. because we believe in the Quran. Stop changing the topic. So Let me get back to you, Abraham. Oh, I haven't the, finished the yet. The lecture carries on. Yes, the, the response to your question carries on. All right. So the, the question is, was, was this, why was Abraham asked to sacrifice his son? According to the narrative in, in the one that we have, in he was idea. not instructed to kill his son. Never. Because Allah says to sacrifice your most beloved thing. Now the question arises, thing. thing, person, people, whatever you want to call it. Now the question arises as to whether he actually sacrificed his son. He did not. It was replaced, it was substituted a ram by a ram. caught in a bush. Thank you very much. By not so the, was what does that killed, tell us? Which what does that killed. tell us? That the human was not sacrificed. That is the ultimate message to this test. That the ultimate test was that he passed the test, that he was ready to kill his son, but he did not kill his son. Because at the last minute the angel substitutes it. What does that tell us? That the same way Jesus was substituted as well. So if you're going to bring in the story of Abraham, it actually is more close to our narrative. Because we don't believe Jesus was sacrificed, he was substituted. And this is what happened to the son of Abraham. So it happened to you, in your case, to Jesus as well. Do you believe well. that the blood of animals can take away sin? No, I don't. It's only a covering. I agree. It's only a covering. The only thing that can actually take away sin is this uh, reference, is, is the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, he, the so in other words, you're going from animal sacrifice to human sacrifice. To actually take away Why sin. should I believe in a well, cult which perfect. believes in human sacrifice? Why? Why should I go back to paganism? Because you know, the, before the, 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 in, in Isaac, the, the Arabs used to believe in this in pagan the prophet, religions, the prophet, where they sacrifice maybe to their, to their lords. Like in the Bible it says they were sacrificed to Baal. Yeah, go on. If you'll let me speak for just a little bit. Yeah, go on. The prophet Yeshayahu, in, in English is uh, Isaiah, he says in Isaiah 53, Hamashim Shalosh, Hamashim Shalosh, it says that um, the Messiah would come and he would and he would uh, we all like sheep have gone astray but the lord has laid on him the iniquity the sin of us all how is that justice he bore the sin of many how he is that justice the messiah would so you don't believe in the prophet isaiah i believe in prophet isaiah you believe in wait, the wait, bits, the wait, wait a minute the wait a minute wait a minute maybe you should go and ask the jews how they interpret isaiah 53. i have wait some does, of the jews in isaiah 53 the messiah wait a minute, wait a minute some of them say no it's only wait a minute, israel wait a minute it's israel if you ask the, the jews no 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 the, the context is israel if you read isaiah, oh. have you read isaiah 52 Oh, I've read the whole book, man. Well, Isaiah 53 talks about Israel. Isaiah 54 talks about Israel. So why should Isaiah 53 be about Jesus? It's very convenient, isn't it, for the Christians to completely ignore the context when the previous previous chapter and the chapter after that talk about the Israel, which is a servant of God in this case, is talking about Israel. And by the way, Isaiah 53 talks about the children. Isaiah 53, Isaiah 53 talks about the children, about the children of that servant. Does the servant, does Jesus have children? Does children, does, uh, does uh, sorry, does Jesus have children? Does he have children? No, because Isaiah 53 talks about his progeny, about his children, which you guys do not even consider that he has children. So why would you His consider? His offspring are those who will believe in him as Lord and Savior. No, the offspring, I mean, I the offspring is Jacob. Jacob is Israel, and Israel has children. But you, your Jesus doesn't have children. So Isaiah 53 cannot be talking about Jesus. Okay. Jesus has no children. Jesus. End of story. <laughs> he won't answer that one. Yeah. Go on, answer, David. I'm waiting. I why does Isaiah 53 talk about the children of Jesus? If it is Jesus, why does where, where does he talk about? I hear that? crickets. <laughs> Why have you read? You said you have devolved the Bible. Yeah, well, you should have what, read what the verse are you talking about? Isaiah 53. Uh -huh. Go on, read it. Read it. It talks about the children, about his progeny. Who has believed our report? To whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Don't change the topic. No, I'm why, about Isaiah why do you mean? So, it. I'm talking so about tell the me, same topic. So tell me, who are the children of Jesus that he's talking about? Where does it say children of Jesus? Open the word. Open the Bible. I'll show you where it is. Open Isaiah 53 because I haven't memorized it. But I know the context over there talks about the children, about his progeny, about his, uh, about, about his uh, Yeah, I would say that that's not true. Well, then, if you don't want to open your Bible, then we know what you got to hide. I ain't got my glasses. You might think I'm lying, but I haven't got my You glasses. said you have memorized it. Go on. Speak from memory. Okay. Get it for him, uh, <laughs> we all like sheep have gone astray. Bring Isaiah you've gone astray, you're a sinner. The only way that you're going to be forgiven is by Almighty God forgiving you in your heart. How, how do you get forgiven by God? Very good question. Not by human sacrifice, not by animal sacrifice. 
Allah says in the Quran that he's capable of forgiving every sin. Every sin is forgiven. The condition how, is very how, simple. How, what are you the, do? the condition is you should repent sincerely. Can I finish? Yes. You should re repent sincerely. Yeah, repent, repent. Yes. And, and this is enough for your sins to be forgiven. When I say sincerely means it doesn't mean you're thinking in your mind, I'm going to commit that sin again. This is not yes? full justice. Why you is not justice? You stand before a judge on judgment. Human day, sacrifice say, is justice. I am justice. so sorry wow. for what I've done. Asking say, no, God for forgiveness is not justice. Wow. There must be punishment for sin. There must be punishment for sin. It's, it's so at the, the just keep reading it. The Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. This is not He stands before the judge. So you're saying, I am going to take his punishment out of love. It's okay. He's alive. He's Where not it? dead anymore. He's alive. He's at the right hand of the Father. Okay, here it is. So you don't have to be old. Isaiah, 50, so David, David. Isaiah 53, 10. Yet it was the will of the Lord to bruise him. He has put to grief when the mix. Stop interrupting. Hecklers, get away from me. This is the hecklers go away. All right. By the way, David, listen. David, does, does he know that David is a prophet? Ask Godwin. All right. When he says here. Uh, like you, <laughs> like you. Okay, when it says here, okay, wrap it up. I, I know we're going to wrap it up with the offspring of Jesus here, if he has any. Yet, yeah, Isaiah 53, 10. Yet it was the will of the Lord to bruise him. He has put to put him to grief. When he makes himself, when listen, listen, stop interrupting. When he makes himself, stop interrupting. When he makes himself an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring. I am his offspring. He, he had. I believe in him. No, no, no. I am a child of God now. Are you the child of? Are you the child of the Father or the Son? Are you the child of the Father or the Son? So there you go. He yeah. shall prolong God his bless. days. Huh? Seek the, Lord the will of the Lord shall prosper. That's, okay, anyway, by the way, if you still think that sacrifice is okay, that's fine. If you still think human sacrifice is okay, then I think that's paganism. There's no justice in human sacrifice of an innocent man. So you got it, yeah? I've read the correct. So you, you got that offspring then, yeah? Yeah, he did. Okay. But he should twist it. All right, David, thanks a lot once again. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, Allahu Akbar, thanks to your tremendous support, we have, alhamdulillah, paid the final installment for this huge masjid property. And now we need your support to convert this 2,700 square meters building into the most amazing Islamic center in the country of Norway, inshallah. But bro, this does not look like a masjid. It looks like a wedding hall. And that's exactly what this is. Brothers and sisters, we need your support to reconstruct this wedding hall into a masjid and community center so we can have our prayer hall for us to establish salah five times a day, an indoor playground for the kids to nurture love for the house of Allah, a conference hall for lectures and reminders about Islam. We need classrooms for education, a library to study, a gym for exercise, and a soup kitchen to help the poor and needy. If you support us, even with a small sadaqah, you will inshallah harvest a reward for all of these facilities and the khayr that they generate throughout the years, all the way until the day we meet Allah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever builds a masjid for the sake of Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. So what are you waiting for? Click the button to donate and share the video for extra rewards.